Hello everyone, this is Iran Talk and in this video I'd like to present a very honest and unbiased analysis of the genetic origins of contemporary Iranians. And this will be done to highlight the fact that modern day Iranians do not have much foreign ancestry and are largely genetically contiguous in contrast to the claims made by many enemies of Iranians. My genetic analysis will prove that the contemporary Iranians do indeed have a great degree of genetic continuity. What's more is that the anti-Iranian view of contemporary Iranians being heavily admixed with the Arabs and the Turco-Mongols will largely be refuted here and this view prevails amongst most white nationalist circles as well as the circles of delusional Iranian nationalists. Another point I wanted to emphasize here is that because this is a very unbiased and honest genetics perspective, I will only include the results for modern Iranian populations that have greater than three samples and individual samples or data sets with just two samples will not be considered. And please do let me know if this is an approach you want me to take for future videos as well. Nearly all Iranian populations that have been sampled and that have the requisite amounts of samples will be analyzed here. But what I will emphasize is that I will not really analyze any non-Iranic populations living within Iran with the exception of the Jews. And I also wanted to mention that the Tots and Talish from Azerbaijan will also be featured in this analysis. I will also take a look at the contemporary Iranian Azerbaijani population and as you will see they are not really Turkic but rather they are primarily of Iranian and Caucasian descent. Now without further ado I'd like to begin this analysis. Here are the source populations that I will be utilizing for this analysis. The number of samples making up each of these source populations is listed as unequals in the labels. There is a Bronze Age Iranian source from the site of Dinka Tepe from northwestern Iran. There is a BMAC or Bactria Margiana archaeological complex Bronze Age source. There is a Sintashta Russia source. There is a Kuraraxis Caucasian source. There is a Mesopotamian Late Bronze Age source. There is a Lebanese Phoenician source from the Iron Age. There is a classical Greek source from the site of Himera in Sicily. There is a Tal Karasa Umayyad Arab Late Antique source and this dates to the Islamic invasions. Then there is also a South Asian related source that is rich in ancient ancestral South Indian ancestry and is found in southeastern Iran and then there is also a medieval Turkic source which is a Karakhanid from southeastern Kazakhstan. There is also a Mongolia late early medieval source as well as an Armenian early medieval source, a modern Georgian as well as a modern Caucasian and a modern Dinka source. I also wanted to mention that the Dinka Tepe source population is more closer to ancient Mesopotamians than it is to ancient Iranians and likely represents the pre-Aryan population of the western Iranian plateau. This calculator was inspired by the work of the founder of the Uranic Genomes Project who goes by the name of Azad Mard. Of course I made my own changes to it nonetheless it's based on an original calculator that he created previously. To start my genetic analysis, here are the results for the Iranian Zoroastrians. As you can see, the Zoroastrians are on average 40.6% BMAC or Bactria Margiana archaeological complex derived from the Bronze Age, 17% Lebanese Iron Age or Phoenician, 14.2% Sintashta from Russia from the mid to late Bronze Age, 13.6% Iran Dinka Tepe Bronze Age, 8.8% Mesopotamian Late Bronze Age, 2.2% Classical Greek, 1.6% Kazakhstan Southeast Karakhanid, 1.0% Armenian Early Medieval from Benjamin, and finally 1% Shakhtis Okta Bronze Age 2, with of course that gauging most of that ASI ancestry, which is nonetheless minimal in the Zoroastrians. Thus, these results prove that the Zoroastrians have significant ancient Iranian ancestry which is largely composed of the BMAC component as well as the Sintashta and the Dinka Tepe components. But what's interesting here is that they have minimal non-Iranian ancestry with most of that actually coming from a Phoenician source. Though nonetheless, I think that this source predates the ethnogenesis of the Aryans and the actual foreign ancestry present here is derived from classical Greeks 
medieval Turks as well as an Armenian early medieval and South Asian related population. I am of course referring to the historic period Aryans of the Iranian plateau and not the early Aryans of Central Asia from the Yaz culture or even the proto-Aryan Sintashta population. Here are the results for the contemporary Persians of Iran and they are on average 36%, BMAC Bronze Age 22.2%, Dinka Tepe Bronze Age 11.1%, Sintashta 8.1%, Mesopotamian Late Bronze Age 5.4%, Kazakhstan Karakhanid 4.6%, Classical Greek 3.5%, Shakhri Sokhta Bronze Age 2 2.9%, Phoenician from Lebanon 2.4%, Tal Karasa Syria Umayyad so this is the late antique Arab component 2.2%, Kura Araxes Caucasian 0.8%, Armenian Early Medieval 0.4%, Mongolia Late Medieval and 0.3% Sub-Saharan African. Thus, what's evident from these results is that the contemporary Iranian Persians are also largely genetically contiguous and have minimal ancestry from the Greek invasion of Iran as well as from the later Arab and Turco-Mongol invasions as most of their non-Iranian ancestry is from a Mesopotamian source. The Gilakis and Mazinderanis are on average 48.2% BMAC Bronze Age, 17.4% Mesopotamian Late Bronze Age, 14% Kuraraxis Caucasus Bronze Age, 6.7% Classical Hellene, 6.5% Phoenician, 4.1% Sintashta, 1.5% Karakhanid, 1.3% Dinka Tepe Bronze Age and 0.3% Shakhre Sohta. Thus, what's evident from these results is that the Gilakis and Mazinderanis are mostly of BMAC descent. Nonetheless, despite this, they do have elevated Mesopotamian as well as Caucasian ancestry, though the Mesopotamian ancestry being analyzed here is very similar to the Dinka Tepe ancestry, and this somewhat works as a similar proxy. Nonetheless, what's evident from these results is that both of these populations also have a great degree of genetic continuity despite their very small amount of steppe or Indo-European ancestry. Up next are the results for the Lax and the Lures, and they're on average 38.9% BMAC Bronze Age, 30.4% Iran Dinka Tepe Bronze Age, 10.6% Classical Greek, 6.9% Mesopotamian Late Bronze Age, 4.9% Circassian, 4.9% Sintashta from the mid to late Bronze Age, and finally 3.4% Medieval Turkic from Kazakhstan. Thus, these results prove that the Lax and the Lourdes are also largely genetically contiguous with minimal foreign ancestries. Moving on, the Kurds are on average 30.9%, Dinka Tepe Bronze Age, 28.1%, BMAC Bronze Age, 15.1%, Armenian Early Medieval, 10.3%, Sintashta, 9.1%, Phoenician, 2.2%, Mongol Late Early Medieval, 1.5%, Shakhri Sokta Bronze Age 2, 1.4%, Tal Karasa Umayyad from Late Antiquity, 1.1%, Classical Hellene, and 0.3%, Karakhanid from Kazakhstan. Thus, these results once again prove that the contemporary Iranian population is largely genetically contiguous, be it the Persians, the Gilakis and Mazinderanis, the Lourdes or the Kurds. Here are the results for Azerbaijani populations and you can see that they are on average 20.5% BMAC Bronze Age, 14.8% Kuraraxis Caucasian, 11.3% Dinka Tepe Bronze Age, 10.8% Mesopotamian, 8.6% Phoenician, 8.2% Classical Greek, 7.5% Medieval Turkic, 5.4% Sintashta, 3.9% Circassian, 3.6% Armenian, 3.2% Mongolian, 1.3% a late antique Arab from Tal Karasa and finally 0.8% Iran Shakhre Sokhta Bronze Age 2. Thus, despite being an Iranian population, the Azerbaijani seem to be more admixed than other populations from Iran, though nonetheless they are still mostly Iranian, and I reckon that their more foreign ancestry largely derives from the fact that Azerbaijan was populated and repopulated multiple times throughout history by different groups, and I think this is what leads to their more admixed origins. Moving on, here are the results for the Talish and Tots from Azerbaijan and they are on average 
20.6% BMAC Bronze Age, 16.3% Kororaxi Caucasian, 14.2% Dinka Tape Bronze Age, 9.8% Mesopotamia Late Bronze Age, 9.2% Armenian Early Medieval, 9.0% Circassian, 7.3% Classical Greek, 6.7% Sintashta, 5.1% Kazakhstan Medieval Turkic, 0.8% Lebanon Iron Age or Phoenician, 0.6% Mongolian from the Late Early Medieval and finally 0.4% Shakri Sohta. Thus, the Tots and Talish of Azerbaijan seem to be very admixed compared to other Iranian populations and most of this admixture comes from the Caucasus and what this suggests is that this population is not wholly Iranian and is significantly admixed with Caucasian populations. The second to last populations analyzed here are the Iranian Jews and they're on average 25.4% BMAC Bronze Age, 21.8% Dinka Tape Bronze Age, 21.2% Mesopotamia Late Bronze Age, 17.6% Classical Greek, 9.8% Tal Karasa Umayyad, 4% Phoenician and 0.2% Medieval Turkic. Thus, what these results prove is that the Iranian Jews are a mixed population and what's interesting to note is that they have minimal Phoenician or Lebanese Iron Age ancestry and what this suggests is that they're mostly Mesopotamians who converted to the Jewish faith rather than being direct descendants of the ancient Israelites and also they have more Arab ancestry than any other Iranian population. The last population I wanted to analyze here are the Iranian Bandaris from Hormuzgan and Bushir and they're on average 27.4% BMAC Bronze Age, 20% Iran Ganj Dara Neolithic. So I included this source to pick up on more of the Zagrosian ancestry they have and then they're 13.2% Classical Greek, 12.8% Chakrasokta Bronze Age, 9.6% Sintashta, 8% Umayyad Arab, 4.4% Mesopotamian Late Bronze Age, 3.6% Dinka and 1% Medieval Turkic. Thus, the Bandaris are more admixed than any other Iranian population, though what's worth mentioning here is that they're still largely Iranian and most of their foreign ancestry comes from a Greek source as well as from an Arab and a Sub-Saharan African source. The Bandaris also tend to have more South Asian ancestry than other Iranians and this is primarily because of admixture between them and the Baluchis. To conclude, in this analysis I took an honest approach to exploring the genetic origins of contemporary Iranians and proved that the majority of the Iranian populations analyzed here are indeed largely genetically contiguous. What's more is that the results presented in this analysis largely refute the theory of admixture amongst contemporary Iranian populations that is espoused by many white nationalists as well as delusional Iranian nationalists such as Jason Raza Georgiani. And it's also worth mentioning that contemporary Iranians have minimal ancestry derived from the Arabs and the Turco-Mongols. Thus, in this analysis, the myth of foreign admixture in the Iranian population of today was largely refuted. That is it for my analysis. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.